even as we look like we're maybe taking a little bit of time out from uh, this continued rally, Goldman has raised its Japan stock target. Are we going to see uh, more targets being raised by other houses too? Good morning, Heidi. Um, I think that's the uh, question every analyst is asking at the moment. Um, the Nikkei's rally has been much faster than almost anyone has thought uh, early this year. And the Nikkei has risen above 33,000, which is almost at the most bullish end of the market forecast for the year end. And privately, some analysts say they are thinking about whether they need to raise their forecast. So it seems likely that they're going, we're going to see more upgrades in the coming months. So we shouldn't be worried about a correction given the, the huge rally that we've seen already? Well, that, that is a very important point. And I, actually, a lot of market players are now a little bit concerned about the rally getting too far too, far too fast. And um, if we look at seasonal factors, um, we're expecting um, selling from uh, Japanese pension funds because of the need for rebalancing. And especially after the almost 20% rise in the Nikkei, the rebalancing selling from pension funds are likely to be quite big. Uh, some analyst estimate is going to be about the uh, a few trillion yens at least, and that is going to have an impact at least in the short term. And we're also going to see um, ETF managers who need to sell their uh, holdings to uh, pay dividends to their investors in the uh, early July. So that's another thing to be concerned. So in the very near term, um, a lot of market players think that it is likely to go through a little bit of a uh, correction. But um, on the other hand, a lot of other longer term investors think that will be a very nice opportunities to buy on dips. Hey, there'll be special focus when it comes to the Japanese trading houses, most of them holding their AGMs and investors will be quizzing them, right, to ask about the, the, the specifics of how they plan to collaborate with Warren Buffett. Take a look at this chart, which really shows you uh, the winning streak that we've seen for a number of these uh, stocks. Mitsubishi, Sumitomo, Marubini, uh, Itochu holding their AGMs today, and they have just surged since April when we've seen uh, Warren Buffett travelling to Japan to strengthen ties with a number of these commodities and energy conglomerates, what would you want to be hearing at these AGMs that could solidify, you know, the fundamentals for this rally? Yeah, um, well, first of all, one thing I could say is uh, Mr. Warren Buffett is unlikely to be there in person because if he is, uh, they will need much bigger space for the meeting. Um, that said, um, the, you know, there has been a lot of uh, attention on what they are doing in the future, especially with the, uh, in terms of the relation with the strategic sort of relation with the uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, one thing to look at is whether any uh, trading firms are willing to consider even higher stake because um, Mr. Warren Buffett has said that he, he, at this point, he's not planning to raise his stake beyond 10 percent. But if, if there's any indication that uh, he, there's a chance of higher stake, then that could be a boost, a uh, trigger for another boost.